And welcome to Ott and Math. In this edition of Ott and Math, we're going to talk about uh, a couple problems involving basics of trigonometry. All right, so first problem, we have uh, Aramis PQRS has a perimeter of 60 and 60 units and one diagonal. We, sh we don't know which one it is, but it could be either one PR or QS. Uh, it's going to ha have a length of 15 units. So we need to find the two possible values of the sine of angle PQS. So we know that in a, in a rhombus that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So I have my right triangle here, my right triangle here, and I want to find the angle measure or the sine of the angle PQS and sine of PQS. So there are two possibilities. One is where uh, Let's see, QS itself is going to be 15 units. So I have the entire length here of PQ, or I'm sorry, of QS equaling 15 units. In that case, we know that we have an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle, the uh, measures of all the angles are going to be 60 degrees. So we'll identify uh, angle PQS as 60 degrees. So now we need to find the sine of angle PQS when PQS is 60 degrees. So sine now of uh, 60 degrees. And we know that uh, in this case, angle RPQ will equal 30 degrees. So we're going to uh, reference this length here as x. Uh, the length of uh, P, let's call it uh, Z, as x root 3. And then the length of PQ is going to be 2x. So I know the sine of 60 degrees is going to be, sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so I have opposite x root 3 over 2x, and this gives me root 3 over 2. So that's my one possible outcome for the sine of PQS. Now the other possibility is where PR now has a length of 15. PR has a length of 15, and in this case I know that <clears throat> this angle here will be 60, and now PQS is going to be 30 degrees. So my reference angle here gives me a length for PZ of X. And then, of course, uh, ZQ will be X root 3. And then PQ will be uh, 2X based on our 30, 60, 90 triangles. And I'm trying to find the sine of PQS now, which is going to be the opposite side length over the hypotenuse. So sine of 30 degrees will equal x over 2x, which is equal to 1 half. So the two possible outcomes, one is uh, in which the uh, angle measure is 60 degrees, that leaves us a result of root 3 over 2, and then the other possibility is where the angle measure is 30 degrees, and that leaves us with a result of uh, sine of 30, which is equal to 1 half. Okay, second question, just two questions. Given kite, K-I-T-E is a kite, with sides is marked, find the tangent of angle KEI. All right, well, I know that I have two 45, 45, 90 triangles. So I have a, a right triangle here. We know that the diagonals of a kite are uh, perpendicular to each other. So I know that J, and we'll call this Z again, JZT is a right angle and JZK is a right angle. We also know that JZ TZ and ZK are all congruent. So we have two pairs of 45, 45, 90 triangles. So I'm going to identify ZI as uh, length X. And you can see that here, so let me just erase that. So I know that X times root 2 is going to be equal to IT, which is the hypotenuse of that given triangle, or IK either way. And that length is going to be 6. So to solve for x, I have x is equal to 6 over root 2. I need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by uh, root 2. And I end up with 6 root 2 over 2, which is the same as 3 root 2. Okay, so I know x is 3 root 2. That means that tz itself is 3 root 2. And now we're left just to find ZE so we can find the tangent of, or ZK either way, so we can find the tangent of KEI. The tangent will be KZ over ZE. 
So now we need to find z. Well, we know tz squared plus ze squared is equal to te squared, which is 7 squared. All right, tz squared, I have 3 root 2 squared plus ze squared, which we don't know and we're trying to figure out, is equal to te squared. Te is 7, so this is 7 squared. This leaves me with 18 plus ze squared is equal to 49. And now ze squared is equal to 31. So ze is equal to plus or minus 31. Well, we know that the length needs to be positive. So I'm sorry, plus or minus the square root of 31. So ze is going to end up being thir uh, square root of 31. Well, the tangent of KEI, or KEZ, excuse me, is going to be the opposite side, or 3 root 2, over the adjacent side, which is ZE, which is root 31. And again, we need to rationalize the denominator. So we multiply both sides by root 31. And I end up with 3 root 62 over 31. I don't believe there are any perfect squares in 62. So the result is 3 root 62 over 31. That's it. Those are your two problems for chapter 9-9. We have some more in trigonometry and chapter 9-10. So the next section, come and join us for a couple more practice problems.